Hey. How you doing? What's up guys? Kevin here. I know it's been a while. Um, I feel like I start off every video like that. Uh, so I just wanted to do a quick little unboxing and I'm going to be most likely be doing like a wear test of the Collegium, Collegium, Calligraphy Destroyer High. And man, this just, it's, it's essentially supposed to be an Air Jordan 1 sort of um, inspired silhouette. And I'm gonna be like a, doing a quick unboxing. I don't usually do unboxings. I haven't done that in a while, but actually first, let's take a look at the box because I'm getting way too ahead of myself. Comes in this nice collegium box. It is like an off-white tan sort of box. Very nice quality. On the side, it says Sprezzatura. 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 A certain nonchalance so as to conceal all art and make whatever one does or say appear to be without effort and almost without any thought about it. I graduated from uh, a STEM university. Uh, hi, my name is Kevin. Um, so uh, the front of the box, it just has the size. It, I believe this is it, European sizing. I went my true to size um, and it is the Collegium or the name says Collegium Pillar Destroyer High. Uh, Platinum suede, which is this model and let's get into I guess the shoe slash accessories Very nice heavy-duty box Dust bag Collegium made in Italy. It's a nice like felt dust bag uh, Also, there's been a lot of comparisons between this and the rude rhesus um, high if I remember correctly, but if you look at the price tag, both of them are made in Italy. Uh, this one, I believe I only paid like 200 or something like that, 250. Um, and I guess I'll be doing a comparison between like these, uh, the Air Jordan 1s, just a normal pair of Air Jordan 1s, as well as uh, maybe even a pair of the one in the chamber. So look out for that video, but get back to this. Comes with a pair of tan uh, waxed laces. I might throw these guys on. It also comes with a pair of gray wax laces as well as a pair of magenta violet-esque uh, flat waxed laces. And each shoe comes individually packaged. It comes already pre-laced with white flat white laces. And here is the shoe. I'm extremely excited about these. Now I have to say that the suede or the leather feels impeccable. Uh, the suede does feel like a bit distressed. I don't know whether or not that's like intentional, but it does definitely have that like vintage vibe. And there is a Collegium logo kind of stamped at the heel. You guys do want to see. I'm definitely going to be doing like a wear test of this guy. The wool. Wow, the leather is like super thick. Um, it's not like an extremely tumbled leather. It is slightly tumbled um, and the colors the best way I can Describe them is I guess it's going bottom up It's gonna be that neutral. I guess platinum I guess uh, for this model and then it's gonna be a very yellow to almost like I'd say tan tan sole. I guess it's supposed to be sort of like reminiscent of um of like an oxidized Air Jordan 1 vintage sole. Uh, and the upper is comprised of a beautiful, beautiful leather. Taking a look at it. And it's essentially all the gray parts are suede. The primary difference I guess I can see from this model and the Reese uh, B-Ball High or whatever it's called from Rude is I guess theirs is more directly reminiscent of like the, the Terminator. While I feel like this one, it's kind of like a, like a blazer-esque almost. Um, it definitely does remind me of the old blazers, but with a few hints of like an Air Jordan 1 or like a vintage Air Jordan 1. The tongue is like a soft nylon and it has a white smooth leather, leather uh, collegium tag as well as the lining of the tongue. Uh, and I'm gonna put these on. I know that they upgraded uh, the insoles stuff like that. Let me see if they fit. Hopefully they do. I don't know, what if they don't fit? Oh, actually they fit great. Holy shit. So for, I guess, reference, sorry, I'm tying these up right now. Um, I went my true to size. 
So I'm a size eight and I went for a 41. Uh, I wear eights and eight and a half in like an Air Jordan one. Those usually do perfectly fine for me. And I went for a 41 in this and so far so good. That's my feet, hey, that's my feet. Uh, make sure to uh, sign up for my OnlyFans to get uncensored uh, feet pics from me. Fashion Fashion forward forward always. Always. Another detail that I forgot to have is that the size is stamped on the inner tongue. I don't know whether or not it's going to be always in this placement, but just in case. Now, the thing that I'm actually like really surprised about is that this is made in Italy, which for 200, 250 bucks, I think that's like phenomenal. Um, I know the creators of Collegium have said that they are probably, or they're open to doing uh, pre-orders uh, for the future releases because this one sold out within like, I must say like three minutes. Like I remember some sizes sold out instantly and my size sold out like as soon as I checked out. So that'd be awesome. Uh, follow Collegium on Instagram and I'm gonna be doing like a wear test of this. So this is probably, this is like the day after they released. So today's July, Third? Third? July 3rd, so the day after. Is it July 3rd? It's the second. It's July 2nd. Uh, it's July 2nd, so it's the day after the release because the first was when this dropped. And uh, I'm gonna be doing like, uh, kind of like a wear test of this guy. I'm, I don't know, like, like this sole just feels weird. Like you can like feel, like it has like a weird feel to it. I'm sure it'll go away, but it has like a weird uh, like firmness to it. Not like an Air Jordan one where it's like kind of smooth when you run your finger across. This one, it's a little bit more like tactile. And there are a handful of like potential, like small loose stitches, but nothing big. But I mean, I think this is just like phenomenal for like 200 bucks. So. Uh, I will definitely be including um, like update videos or I guess updates uh, throughout this video about like my wear process and then me talking about it. I'm gonna see if I can wear this like every single day. Hopefully I can. Um, I'll, be, I'll be putting this in the ringer uh, and I'll be comparing it uh, either at the end of this video or in a different video to a few of its different competitors. But yeah, I will see you guys in like a week or so. Three weeks later. Hey, what up guys? It's Kevin. So I've essentially been wearing these because I think I got them delivered, I think the day after release. So it's been about three months or so, or not three months. It's been about one month or so uh, since I've purchased these and I've been wearing these pretty much on the daily. And I just wanted to give you guys sort of like a, um, Kind of like an in-depth review in regards to them uh, especially because uh, this is the first release of them this is the platinum colorway uh, and then I know Nick the founder of Collegium is going to be coming out with a bunch more colorways I think he just had his most recent Nordstrom drop and his like second uh, I guess re-up of um, the newer colorways I guess uh, and yeah, I wanted to give you guys a detailed look. I know Sean Go did a great video on the blue pair, uh, but this is sort of the one that is uh, that started it all, I guess. Now, going on to the details of the shoe, the shoe is primarily comprised of a Italian, I believe he said calfskin uh, half grain leather. Uh, I will write somewhere on the screen a little bit more detailed uh, information about it, but just know that it already has a very well uh, broken in feel. So it's not like the general release Jordans where it, they primarily use like splits and then it's essentially like the leftover like fibers from like the cuts of leather and then they kind of fuse it together and like slap a coat of paint over it. This one definitely feels a bit more luxurious and a bit more plush to it. Um, as well as the suede is quite nice. Uh, in my opinion, it is a bit more of like, um, I, I would say an in-between um, in terms of how much nap it has. It has a nice feel nap-wise, but it's not gonna be like extremely buttery. I've had super, super like exaggerated nap um, suede before, and this is like kind of an in-between. Um, the, the bottom, or I guess uh, the soles, are going to be all margam. 
And Nick has mentioned multiple times that it's a dual injection margum. Uh, I guess insole, like I know that he talked about that there's essentially like two or three layers um, primarily added in for comfort and the margum uh, outsole is actually natural rubber. So that was something I was actually quite surprised about because of the fact that like it's very soft compared to maybe like an Air Jordan 1 in terms of like, I guess, texture and like rigidity of it. Uh, I haven't had any build quality issues yet, given it's only three months. So I'm sure I will update you guys. As well as the inner lining is comprised of a kind of like a leather lining, pretty similar to the leather found on the outside. So that's always nice. As well as the insole. It's actually quite a thick polyurethane insole. Take this out. Just has collegium. Ooh, there's my feet marks. So that's how you know how many times I've been wearing it. Uh, it has a leather layer as well as a thick polyurethane insole. Quite comfortable. Definitely more comfortable than the Air Jordan One. I have to say, it has the leather stitching as like the outer, I guess, um, piping. I guess I should say, for lack of a better word, and collegium stamped in on the tongue. So. Uh, that's pretty much most of the details in terms of the shoes um, outside of like, you know, handful of smaller details, like how there's like a lace hole in the back so that you could like kind of wrap it around if you please, as well as the Collegium Three Pillars logo right over here. But outside of that, fairly standard in terms of like a vintage looking shoe. So let's talk about my personal pros and cons about the shoe. Let's first start out with the cons. So some of the cons that I personally have with this shoe is after wearing this quite a bit, I'm actually not a huge fan of, well, okay, so the the insoles add so much, so much, so much more comfort, but I feel like the area that is lacking a little bit in terms of comfort is the upper padding. Uh, the upper padding, it just feels quite um, quite thin, uh, in my opinion, a bit more thin than I personally would have liked it. Uh, the, the silhouette of the shoe is supposed to be sort of a hybrid in between a Jordan 1, I believe the Air Terminator, as well as the Blazer. So I can definitely see the Blazer-esque padding that they have where the collar and neck area it's fairly thin i know i've seen some samples where they did have a bit more thicker padding but i think they just didn't like the silhouette of it i have suggested to them to add more padding especially in the tongue area i feel like the tongue is a bit thin in terms of padding padding i just can't say that word uh padding so um but i do understand you know it's uh a matter of opinion and preference at the end of the day as well as another thing that i've brought up to nick uh as well as the collegium team is that the laces that they gave me um there's a few issues at least in terms of styling and as well as i guess preference as well um so first let's go with styling the laces aren't long enough uh, the wax laces, they aren't long enough to comfortably wrap behind this lace loop in order to tie it like how they have it on the product photos. Because like when it comes shipped in, they just have it um, going through the holes, but not necessarily tying up front. So it's a very... Um, and then I tried to like really tighten them and then it ended up like kind of um, squeezing my uh, my foot really tight and then it wasn't really a comfortable kind of situation. So for the upcoming releases, I would hope, or at least future iterations, I would hope that they include longer laces because it just felt like it wasn't long enough. As well as two, I kind of wish they would give different texture options. So if you guys haven't noticed, the laces that I'm using aren't waxed. And this is actually from the the Sneeze uh, Reebok Club C, uh, where I took the cream laces that they gave us and then put it onto this. And I think that just adds a bit more um, that like retro vintage vibe that I kind of like a lot more, uh, as well as I feel like I like the soft touch of a cotton lace compared to a wax lace. I do understand wax laces, it kind of wanted to feel a bit more on the luxe end. Uh, but I'm definitely looking at this more of like a vintage nostalgia sneaker, uh, obviously taking inspirational cues from the neutral or natural grays, pardon me, 
uh, the natural grays as well as the sort of like um, the yellowed sole. Uh, so I do think that that would be something to look forward to as well as you can just do lace swaps. I know that Foxtrot Uniform, um, a Instagram on, or I guess a shoelace shoe restoration Instagram page has a lot of their cool cream laces. I actually have two of them coming in uh, in probably the next week or so. Hopefully DHL just takes forever, but that stuff is gonna be coming in, so I'm probably gonna replace those with this. Um, as well as just kind of, I wish, I wish the laces were long enough. I feel like I wouldn't have complained if the laces were like fully long enough to comfortably do it. And then I think when I started to like change out the laces, I was thinking to myself like, I really don't see myself using any of the other laces. Cause the white lace was a pretty clear white. It's a pretty stark white. Uh, as well as the coffee or the cream or the tan colored lace was a little bit too tan for me. It's like a bit more of a brown tone compared to even this um, kind of yellowed outsole. So uh, I felt like the the Reebok, Reebok Club C uh, Sneeze collab, I feel like their laces match this upper like to the T, like beautifully. And I don't think I'll really use the gray laces or the magenta laces. I think, I think of all the laces, I would really only use the white. And if I were to use the coffee colored ones, I would personally maybe, I don't know, lighten up the color using a little bit of bleach or something like that. Again, personal preference. If you like the gray, if you like the magenta or fuchsia, please more power to you. But this is just my own opinion where like, I feel like I personally would have chosen like a white, um, a nice eggshell cream like these, uh, black would be sick as well as maybe, maybe some crazy color like, I don't know, I, I was even thinking like blue could work sick, like super sick on that, like give it like a collegiate vibe, um, but yeah, that was sort of my complaint in terms of like the laces. So another thing is that this is sort of like a nitpicky type of thing, but as you can kind of see the Collegium logo on the heel, it's a little bit faint. And I personally kind of wish it was a little bit embossed more, um, sort of akin to the Fragment um, Air Jordan 1 where it's a bit more of a, like a thicker, a pronounced stamp compared to like sort of like this thinner um, sort of um, embossment. Uh, for lack of a better word. I do understand that like the Collegium Three Pillars logo is something that they've used relatively frequently. I just wish um, the stamping of it was a little bit more thick and a little bit more permanent because I feel like with a few more scuffs and a few more wears, this guy would just kind of completely disappear. While the Fragment ones I feel like won't really disappear ever unless I literally rip it off of the leather. Again, it could also be depending on the material used because this is suede, so suede might have different characteristics, but I do wish that the Collegium Three Pillars was a little bit more firmly stamped. Uh, as well as a few other things that I didn't really enjoy was, uh, I think the, the tongue tag, I think doesn't feel very premium. I don't know what about it, but it's either that like the leather just doesn't feel very good or the finish doesn't feel very good or the collegium just kind of stamping of it doesn't feel very good. I can't really pinpoint exactly why it, it doesn't feel as premium as the rest of the shoe is. Um, this shoe just, I don't know, like I feel like I would rather have maybe Collegium not be stamped on it or maybe have the tongue tag be the same color as the the sail uh, kind of like leather upper. Instead, it's like a white flat leather in a weird way. I do understand that it matches like the nylon tongue, uh, but uh, I just personally didn't like it all that much. I, I'm pretty much done talking about all the cons. Dude, this is an amazing, amazing shoe for 200 or so dollars like I like two hundred and fifty dollars plus tax plus shipping or something like that uh, people pay a thousand plus dollars for like an Air Jordan 1 made with far I guess inferior terms of quality manufacturing is also done in Italy so you know that the workers are being taken care of 
the materials are sourced in Italy. So for $250, uh, this just knocks it out of the park. Like really, like in terms of the feel of the leather, the colors that they chose really with like just the amount of like love and dedication that went into this guy. Like you can really tell um, that this is going to wear even more beautifully as it has for me over the past three weeks. I'm sure it'll look even better like a year in or something like that. Another thing that I think outside of like just pure material quality that feels great is just the shape of it. Just one, the toe box shape. It's like a beautiful like hybrid in between like an Air Jordan 1 and an old Air Force 1. So a pair of like 01 uh, Air Force 1 linens you know, like this, it has that like low profile, but also a little bit wider on the toe, like from looking from it like a top down perspective. And I just think it's like a beautiful fusion in between that, as well as like a lot of old Air Jordan ones ran very small and narrow. This one runs beautifully in terms of width. So it's like a width of like an Air Force One with maybe a length of an Air Jordan one like an OG Air Jordan one, but having like an upper padding and sort of the upper silhouette as a blazer It's just like this weird fusion that really does work quite nicely It just like like how do you get over that shape? I love just the nice taper down and I know this took a while to do because I mean like Jordan brand still struggles with making a toe box just look so like slim and like perfect as this. Uh, I do think that they got the silhouette very, very correctly. Now the only part, again, like talking about the cons is I just wish the upper was a little bit more padded. Like it would look so crazy with like a padded upper with a slim down toe and just like, that'd be a crazy silhouette to have. Maybe they'll create a different version. Uh, maybe the Destroyer High thick or something like that but the silhouette i i guarantee you guys you will not find a better silhouette than this it's just it's it's a beautiful like the leather quality as well as the amount of attention to detail that nick the head of collegium has really put into this kind of shows with all the detail all the care that he's put into it because he himself uh cares a lot about shoes about the materiality of things and he he very meticulously took the time to really like craft this and sure i do have some cons in my opinion about the shoe that i wish would be fixed in future iterations i understand that this might even be still a work in progress because like he even told me that maybe he'll change some things up in like future releases or future productions of the shoe but Honestly, I wholeheartedly give my recommendation to the Collegium Destroyer High. Uh, if you can find them on sale, I know Nick is trying to make this as widely available as uh, he can, both with partnering up with Nordstrom as well as doing frequent restocks. He might even do pre-orders, that's what he said. So uh, keep an eye out um, on the Collegium Instagram page as well as Nick's private Instagram check both of those out i'll leave them somewhere here or and the description down below uh i just think the styling of this is just like so nice you can style this like an air Jordan one or it can even style this kind of like an slp um like an slo one or you can style this like an air force one even or like a blazer because of the silhouette it's just it's very versatile so let me know your thoughts about the I guess the Destroyer High, are you excited about this? Are you looking to pick this up? What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments down below and I will talk to you guys next time. Peace.